Hello, everybody! Welcome to the show. I'm here with my brother-in-law, Senor Carlos Quinones. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Today we're drinking Moxa's brand new, woo, brand new release, Truffle, Trufflicious. Not Trufflicious. Hey, Jack, come here. Jack, say hi to the camera. Hey, you guys. Wait, no fighting until you're off of the camera. Smell this, Max. Tell me what you're picking up on the nose. No, 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 no. Hold on. If you're going to smell it, you got to put your nose into the glass Jack, come to here. get full aroma. Jack. What do you smell? Tell them. Come here. Uh, fruit? Fruit? Oh, you got some fruit. Oh, Jack, you got to <laughs> take the mask off, dude. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> what are you picking up, Jack? Yeah. All right, Max is getting fruit. That's that's good. And grape. And grape. Oh. Well, there's no oh, grapes, yeah. but I can see how it's like a... Hey guys, get like a little bit of it's, uh, it's okay. We, we don't, we don't discourage any background uh, craziness that happens in these videos. So this is the newest stout from Moxa in Rockland, California. It's an imperial stout measuring in at 11.6% uh, with blackberries, vanilla beans, cacao nibs, and hazelnuts. Hey, Raylan. Raylan, you want to smell my hazelnut beer? No! He's allergic to beer, to uh, hazelnuts, <laughs> and probably beer. Wow, so I get definitely a chocolate. Have you smelled it? You're going right in. Oh, jeez. All right in. What? What are you? Uh, what are your thoughts? Well, we have an epic sword fight behind us. Don't get injured, and if you do, tell your mom. Yeah, I know. No, I can taste or smell the coffee and, and, the, and the fruit, mm -hmm. um, blackberries. So. Yeah, it's funny. I think uh, I get like, I definitely get this fudginess factor. This is very like dark chocolate brownie on the nose for me. I don't get a ton of blackberry aromatically, but uh, but I get, I like, it feels like a dark chocolate fudge brownie. It's very fudgy. What the fudge? And hazelnuts, I'm not picking, are you getting hazelnut at all? I'm not um, looking around. There are, there are a couple women that opted not to be in the video, both wives here over there. So not getting hazelnut, no hazelnuts. No. One of the taste you can definitely. And now, so here's what's funny. I was talking to, talking to somebody at the, at the tasting room today and they said, this is the same ingredients as pastry method I mean, maybe different ratio. The only difference is subbing out the coconut for blackberry. And here's the thing, on the pastry method, I get a big hazelnut factor. I'm getting no hazelnut here. All right, you already tasted. You're like done with your pork. Cheers. Cheers, oh, cheers. oh, phantom, uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers. Ooh. Ooh, it's a blackberry brownie. Wow. Yeah, so on the palate, I definitely get more of the, there's like a slight tartness, a little bit of acidity that just sort of rounds out the the cocoa. Um, I like it. You like it? Yep. Yeah? Definitely. It's really good. And here's the thing, I know in some of the other fruited uh, stouts from Moxa, like the berry flavor has been too much and it's been too sour sometimes, uh, like radberry. Um, this is not that, this is restrained and the fruitiness comes through, but not the acidity, which I appreciate quite a bit. All right, Three. that's it, cheers. cheers. Salud. Salud.